So Jacob has an iPad, he has his own iPad. Um, he likes to watch videos on YouTube. He hardly watches, in fact, he doesn't watch TV anymore. He's a YouTuber, he calls himself a YouTuber. He has his own YouTube channel. Planet Jacob! Lots of his friends are doing it and they're all sort of um, in the school playground, you know, tell, telling each other that they're YouTubers. Now obviously you have to be 13 and over to have a YouTube channel. I have my own YouTube channel, so I kind of know how it works and how to upload videos and things. Can you help, Mummy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that uploads because obviously there was concerns. It's making sure that he's not open to any bullying or any online trolling or anything, you know, when obviously we're putting these videos out there. I'm really positive about this online world. Jacob's knowledge of so many different things that I would never even dream of him knowing at, at age seven. He likes doing crafts, he likes to, you know, learn how to make things, all the kind of things that you can actually get at the touch of a button. And so that side of it is just amazing for, for them and their learning. You know what kids are like now, they can navigate their way through iPads and phones so quickly. I do worry that sometimes he's, he's going to end up seeing something that I wouldn't want him to see. So we have set restrictions on uh, Jacob's iPad. Um, I've got restrictions on my phone as well. I've set restrictions, you know, to stop in in-app purchases and making sure that the um, location services are disabled, things like that. We have quite an open chat about um, what he's doing online. So unless I am sat with him the whole time, I have to try and just teach him you know, if he sees something that he doesn't like, come and speak to us about it. Our daughter Amber is 14, so she plays Fortnite. She's, you know, used to play Roblox. She plays games that are obviously older. Whereas Jacob, because he's seven, he's only allowed to play certain types of games. So he sees his sister playing these games. So sometimes it's quite tricky to, for him to understand, you know, because he's saying, my sister plays it, why can't I? Definitely setting the restrictions on those devices as a first because then you've got a little bit of a safety net there um, and you, it makes you feel a little bit better about the things that they are looking at and playing at while they're, while they're on their iPad. Talking to them and actually finding out what they're doing when they're playing these games and watching these videos. If he does see anything that you know he doesn't like or he can actually come and tell me. So talking is a huge, you know, is a real big thing. I use my phone quite a lot. So I think I have to set an example to my children and not take my phone at, at night time to bed because if they see me doing that, they think, well, why are you doing that? Why can't I do that? So trying to set an example, really.